what would you tell yourself, yeah. knowing everything that you've learned since the beginning of this iceberg, if you had two minutes in the room with yourself? I took what you too know? long to start trusting people with, I felt like I had to do everything myself. I'm going to take the phone call. I'm going to schedule the order. I'm going to carry the ladder. I'm going to follow up with the risk management stuff. I'm going to do the networking event. I'm going to do every inspection. You know, even the first person I trained, I don't know why he hung around. The first person I trained, I had him do something like 150 inspections before I let him go in front of, because I was, I wanted to be, I wanted that recipe to be exactly right. When you, when you dip your finger in that sauce, you can't tell if I cooked it or if he cooked it, you know. Um, but I was still learning the system to get him out there. Mm. I would have probably by my second year, looking back, I had enough, there were enough relationships in place for me to hire two and three people. Right. Yeah. Um, I didn't trust it and I just felt like I needed to control, you know, it's your, it's, 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 it's your, when you're a small business owner, Right. You make every decision, you know, from the the color of your your logo, you know, and every, and you and you struggle with should it be sky blue, should it be navy blue, or maybe a little bit darker, where the placement of the logo, every little thing is your because you're it's going to be your failure or your success, right? So now you have someone that is saying that you want to hire, and okay, it's now their job. To take the phone calls, right? So you you want to you want to you struggle to let it go, right? You want to you want to tell them how to send the email. Should you say warmest regard? Should you say best? I say have the best day. That's how I end my emails, right? Um, so I guess just being able to if I would have let go faster, we we would have moved along quicker, right? I could have mm. failed faster and grown. You, ha you have to fail, right? The faster you fail, and you figure out what you're not doing right, the quicker you're going to grow. If it takes you a long time to fail at something, you know, when you're not, you're not learning, something's not jiving, but you're still, you're still going back to the same well, then you're, 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 going, to, you're going to struggle, right? You have to, what's not working? The yeah. faster you fail is the sooner you get to the core of the problem. That's it, man. That's it, man. <laughs> this is amazing. You're awesome. Yeah, it is, man. I don't think, you know. You got to fail fast. I don't even know if I'm answering your questions. Yeah, too. that was. Because well, I, well, I started going straight down, you know. No, yeah. Yeah. That's, but, that's um, what you would teach yourself. Business owners have to put their SOPs. The standard operating procedures and their, their WIs are work instructions in place so that people can execute. One of them is what you're going to do. The other one is how you're going to do it. Once you start drafting those, then you can clone yourself and, and start to put other people in place. It took me so long to do that because I didn't trust people. You know, I thought that I was, um, I guess I thought I was special. It was not that I'm special, but I'm doing, I have a, the blueprint with doing things a certain way. Once you have that figured out, put systems in place. Mm. Then put people in place to run those systems because that's how you're going to get your time back. That's how you're going to get your time back, right? So now, if I, you know, if I wanted to, I could take my three-year-old um, to the zoo. You know, me and my wife can can take a. We took a vacation, man. We took a vacation. Um, Seven days, Nassau, Bahamas, the Atlantis Resort, and my phone barely rung. You know, it, it just it just felt good to know that I had people at home that was taking care of the business. The inspections was, was getting done. People answering the phones. Um, so that until you have a system in place that the business can run without you being there twenty four seven, you don't own a company. The, the, the job basically owns you, right? So that's how you get to having a, a business worth owning and have a life worth living, right? Putting, putting those systems in place. Yeah.
And I'm not saying we're there, but we're getting, we're on our way. 